I don't know. Was this smart on my part, y'all? Work it, make it, do it. Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Here is our grocery haul for this week for our family of four. We went ahead and stocked up. We spent about $156. Y'all know I usually don't spend that much in a week, but I actually bought for the next two weeks plus to kind of stock up for this coronavirus craziness we got going on down here. So we're gonna take you to the counter. We're gonna show you what we picked up at Walmart with the online grocery pickup and a few other specialty stores. So here's a brief overview of what $156 looks like. We're gonna start off with Walmart. We did the online grocery pickup. If you want to do the online grocery pickup and get $10 off your order, there is a link down below in the pinned comments and in the description box, and that'll get you $10 off your order. I will say, as I did the intro, I was worried I was gonna to have to wait for a long time. I've been hearing horror stories, but legit guys, 10 minutes in and out of there. And there was only a few things out of stock we'll talk about. So I was very, very happy with Walmart and they actually made it right because my order was delayed about three hours, which I did not care at all, but they were making things so right for people. I mean, I'm sure they've gotten a lot of people complain, but nobody should be complaining with all the craziness going on. So I got some bananas for Waylon. I forgot that they do it like per banana instead of by the pound now. So that's only three. That's definitely not going to last him, but that'll last him for a few days until we can venture out and get some more, I guess. Got some peeled sliced apples for Trey. He is going to be home because our schools are canceled in our entire state. So I went ahead and got some snack options for him a little bit more than I would normally. And apples are something that he likes to go to. And if I can get whole foods in them, that's what we're doing. I got me some avocados. Now we are going to be doing that egg fast. When you're watching this, it's a day two of the egg fast, but I went ahead and got avocados for when we're off the egg fast because y'all know I love to eat one of these per day. Got some tomatoes on the vine, and I have to say, I'm not a tomatoes girl, but these look beautiful, especially with everything that's been happening with the grocery stores being cleared. It's just been mass chaos, and these look absolutely beautiful, like so happy with that. Got some heavy cream, and this is the Horizon Organic brand. I like to get this one because it is just grade A organic cream and gel and gum. It doesn't have carrageenan, which is a gut health a bad ingredient you want to try to stay away from your cheap ones and some of the other name brand ones have it but if you get this one it never has it got that for the southern keto cookbook biscuits and gravy i'm going to make for the hubs while i'm doing the egg fast i went ahead and got cheese wasted because i needed cheese for the egg fast and i only have about half of my big block from sam's club left and especially with everything going on, I mean, we're going to eat it. doesn't matter. So I want to go ahead and stock up. So I got a pound of the Monterey Jack, a pound of mozzarella, and then a pound of sharp cheddar cheese. Like I said, I still have some of this, but we will eat it nonetheless. Went ahead and got a pound of each of our favorite ones to make chaffles and different types of recipes. Got some of the Great Value Organic Premium Sausage. That's also for the sausage, biscuits, and gravy. The Southern Keto recipe I was telling you all about. Now something I was surprised they had because most stores were wiped of bacon when I was going to some of the other stores. And y'all know I like this brand. I tried to get the regular one and not the cherry wood, but they were sold out of the other one. So I went ahead and got this one. The other one has turbinado sugar in it as well, but I like this one because it doesn't have the nitrates and all the preservatives and nastiness that the regular ones have. It's pretty thick cut. It does cook very well in your air fryer. So I love this Hormel brand. They used to sell it at Sam's. It was a seasonal selling point. So I hope they get it back soon because I really like this bacon. Look at this cheese. Look at this cheese. I mean, they didn't even like, they just put a bunch of shreds in there at that point. I'm sure it was like such chaos. I mean, the girl that came and brought me the groceries was like apologizing and she's like, it's been crazy. And I was like, please do not apologize. I cannot even imagine what you guys have been going through. So $16 for almost two and a half pounds of white American cheese. I do a pound and a quarter per week for Trey's keto queso. So I went ahead and got two weeks worth. So I will actually weigh this up on my scale and make his keto queso once per week like this. So that way, in case something were to happen, we've got two weeks worth of his cheese. Go ahead and stock up. I had, I think like four Quest bars in my cart. They only had one. The rest of them were out of stock. That's okay because I order these on Amazon actually. And he likes the chocolate sprinkled donut is Trey's favorite. As I mentioned in my bar, video for eat this not that if you haven't checked it out I'll link it up above but he likes his birthday cake flavor as well so I've got one I meant to get like a few until our order gets here from Amazon but that's fine because I still have some other ones so no biggie there 
got some of the stir. I went ahead and got the black cherry this week and also got the, I think this is the fruit punch one. And I got two weeks worth of those. We go through about not even a whole one of these per week. And this is what we like to put in the boys water instead of buying juice. It's one net carb for my keto peeps per squirt. So you can use this too. It's really good ingredients versus the Mio. I also did an eat this, not that video on these two, but just don't go crazy. So you can't have like 10 squirts in a day because that's 10 carbs for my keto peeps. And we don't want that. We don't want me to be drinking our carbs. I got some new items I wanted to share with y'all. So my boy Thomas DeLauer, if y'all watch his videos, you know he's got the science behind everything and he's always got some new product when he does his in-store videos, which I really, really appreciate. And he did an in-store Walmart condiment video and he talked about these Tessame's pantry dressings. And yes, we can make our own. I love the blue cheese one from Dakita Lady, but sometimes you just want something already done. And a lot of people were talking about they use these for marinades or they use these as a topping, for like a sauce for like chicken and pork and stuff. Stuff like that so I got this classic ranch win and the cilantro lime ranch they also have an avocado ranch win but it was sold out guys y'all know I was all over that but the ingredients are so good it's one net carb for two tablespoons the calories the fat look at the fat is so on point there as far as for keto these macros are amazing and the ingredients are amazing as well so it's all clean ingredients um, it's got good sunflower oil in there. It's got cage-free eggs. It doesn't have any other types of oils. Really, really clean. That's what he was talking about, and that's what got me so intrigued by these. They also have like a balsamic vinaigrette type thing, an Italian. So they got a million of these um, at Walmart, and they're pretty reasonably priced. This was under $4. At my Winn-Dixie, these were almost $7 per bottle. So definitely check Walmart if you want the Tessame brand. I got some lilies. I haven't hauled the lilies, I feel like, in forever. But I have these in one of our little storage containers containers that I got from Walmart for Black Friday in the pantry and I bake with these obviously but I know the hubs and the kids they eat these as little snacks so instead of eating the actual bars they'll just take a few of these and eat them as a sweet treat and since we are going to be indoors a lot I thought it'd be awesome to have some good staples as far as sweets on hand so I went ahead and got those and that's a pretty good price to get from Walmart versus your other stores this is just a semi-sweet they also have the milk and they have the dark and this is seven ounces and I want to say that is less than five dollars so pretty good deal for that I went ahead and got two weeks worth of Trey's diced pears again these are the ones that are, are sweetened with Splenda I'd rather the stevia but we have to go to Winn-Dixie and Winn-Dixie was wiped as you're going to see I'm going to talk about them in a minute so I went ahead and got those you got to do what you got to do especially in times like these got one bag of the Simply Organic Tocinos these are made with expeller press oils which why I like these Walmart this is the only brand that has expeller press oils but I hate that it's such a small bag and so we can get back to Sam's Club and until they're in stock with the one that we like to get from there just got a bag to tie them over I did get two bags of the Earth's Best Mini Beef Meatballs. Now, I talked about these in my grocery haul last week, and oh my gosh, Waylon loves these. He loves these, and I'm so glad because he likes chicken nuggets, and he's going to turn into a chicken nugget because that's all he's been asking for, but now he's been requesting the meatballs, so it's a nice way to switch things up. He also likes those little sausages, the Teton ones we got from Costco, so I'm liking the different protein options for him instead of just the same old, same old, and like I said last time, I think these are less than $6. You get a lot of them in there he still has a little bit from last time but again I just wanted to make sure we had the things that the kids especially like and need that way it's here and we don't have to worry about it now I had quest in my car y'all y'all know I had quest I didn't have these brands quest everything like the bars was sold out so like there's a lot of keto peeps around me a lot of low carb peeps around me and they went a little buck wild and they got all the quest stuff so this dia brand this is the gluten-free pizza and the cheese i had a quest cheese they subbed it for this that is okay these were for the boys anyway not for me and the hubs honestly especially for trey i wanted to have a different lunch option versus a sandwich every day since he's going to be home so i went ahead and got this one it is dairy soy and gluten-free it is plant-based as far as the macros go wanted to show you guys I mean it's definitely not keto guys don't get crazy don't think I'm saying this is keto but look at the sugar content I mean yes you're getting sugars from the carbs there but you have the sugar content is super low and the fats pretty nice and the ingredients are pretty clean I mean it has expeller pressed stuff and it's got really good oils in there so I was impressed with that is it my go-to to get for the boys absolutely not but I did not mind that substitution however this one it was not the best I'm not a really big fan of the Udi Udi's I've talked about that with the bread 
I don't like the ingredients that they use. It is gluten-free, but just because something's gluten-free doesn't mean it's good or healthy. We've talked about that before. So as far as the ingredients go, it does have canola oil, olive oil. No, it's not expeller pressed, so there's a downfall there. It's got some dextrose in there added at the bottom, which I don't like. If we look at the carb content for the entire pizza, 76, so it's way more than the Daya. It does have more sugar than the other ones, so that's why I don't like this brand as far as a gluten-free option. There's definitely better gluten-free options like this one versus that one, so try to stay away from that one. I just went ahead and, and took it, guys, because of what's going on. I am not going to be picky. I am not going to cause a fuss. We will take it. I will pick off the greenery for the boys, and they will eat the pizza like that, and we'll move on about our merry way. Also, y'all know I didn't get this, so don't get crazy. Don't come for me, police, down below. We did not buy this. So my order was like three hours delayed and I didn't say anything. I thought that was actually pretty good for what's going on. So I was very pleased with everything. The stock, I was pleased with the time they brought my stuff out and I was elated with only being three hours late. But they were apologizing like crazy. They were bringing everybody items to make up for the inconvenience they kept calling it. So they brought out two boxes of cereal. For me, they brought out the Magic Treasures, which is the Walmart knockoff to Lucky Charms and this huge box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch knockoff and Trey, that used to be his jam. But I'm actually gonna give both of these to my mother-in-law. I know she will eat them. I don't want to incorporate these things back into the kids' diet because then they will be relying on this and not the switches that we've made, okay? So I know we got it for free, but I'm gonna give it to my mother-in-law to good use. I know she'll eat it, and that way it's not wasted. But shout out to Walmart for being really, really awesome with trying to make things above and beyond for their customers in these crazy times we got going on. So a couple of things that Walmart was out of stock on. This was all $95, by the way, with what I did pick up. They were out of meat. Um, they were out of a couple of like little odd and end things, nothing big at all. But our local butcher right down the street had some meat left and the hubby went and got me some scored me three pounds that he had left until monday so ten dollars for that for some 80 20 ground meat so super happy because i had some things i wanted to make with it and we had zero because of the carnivore challenge we ate all the meat he also picked up some green on green onion sausage we love green onion sausage if you watched my camping videos i kind of raved about that and he has some really good uh, green onion sausage. So it was $7.43 for two pounds. So we got that right down the street. That was really, really nice. And probably gonna continue to get it from him um, until all this craziness blows over. We went into Whole Foods and spent about nine bucks. I just wanted to get a couple more snack options for Trey and a must for mama. So I got the Skinny Pop popcorn mini cakes. These are the sharp cheddar. These were on a Prime deal. So you got 10% off if you're a Prime member. And that was awesome because we haven't bought these for him in a while. While, but he loves them and then I got this was on a prime deal as well 10% off y'all know I like this one from the cooler section a little bit more than the shelf stable one and they were out of the caramel so before you say like girl why didn't you buy the new flavor you were raving about on Instagram they were completely sold out and I knew they would be since they were on sale but the French vanilla is my all-time favorite. So I went ahead and got that for my coffee. I love the kind in the freezer or the cooler section. The one in the shelf stable section tastes good as well. And y'all know I fly through it, but there's just something a little bit more silky smooth about that one. So $9 is always spent in Whole Foods. And when I went, they were not really wiped, but I'm sure they are now. We went into Winn-Dixie. I went in uh, the day before. I went in yesterday. So I went in yesterday and they had nothing. They had no ground meat, no chicken, nothing. I went the day before and this is what I was able to get. And I should have got my ground meat there before, but that's okay because we got it there. So I did get another pack of the Dave's Killer Bread. These are the Boom and Berry. This was the last one they had on the shelf. The boys love these. Trey's been eating this for a lunch option. He's been eating that for breakfast. Not gluten-free, but it is low sugar. And with the other things I pair with it, it is a healthy breakfast or lunch. I have one in the freezer already, but again, wanted to pick one up just in case. I got the breakfast blend community. This was not as cheap as I usually pay for community. It was $5, but it is way more than that at Walmart. So they had it on a roll back at Winn-Dixie. And I love this breakfast blend lately. Y'all let me know down below. A lot of people are sending me messages about flavored coffees and saying that they are, they have carbs in them and they're not, obviously nothing's on these boxes. And if you look online, a lot of websites will tell you if they do or not, but some are misleading apparently. And when we talked about the great value in last week, a lot of people were like the one you picked up has carbs or there's another flavor like a chocolate one that does. I don't know, but I've been liking just a regular one blended with nut pods and of course my Perfect Keto Collagen. And right now Perfect Keto has a 
20% off discount code if y'all want to use it on any other products, guys. It's three days. I think this is day two. Just throwing that out there if you need some in your life. But yeah, love that mixed with my usual stuff. Like we mentioned last week with Trey being a little chipmunk in the store, I got some grapes. And again, I had to hold them the whole time because he wanted to eat them. But they were on sale for, I think, like $1.68 a pound at Winn-Dixie. So that was cheaper than Whole Foods from last week. So I snagged those up. Also got some strawberries, they were three for 10 and these just looked beautiful to me. They were so red, so pretty. And since I'm gonna be home, I thought, you know what? We gotta eat the damn berries while we're at home as well and can't pass those up because they're so pretty. I've got one block of Kerrygold, but this was on sale for $3 at Winn-Dixie. That's cheaper than my Walmart. So I went ahead and got one of those just to make sure, again, just getting stuff to be safer than sorry in the long run. And the last thing I got were some ribeyes. I got these the day that it wasn't cleared, and these are a great price. So they were $5.99 a pound. So the four ribeyes were only $13.78. I mean, Winn-Dixie always comes in with the awesome meat as far as being so pretty and such a great price. Their ground meat was a great uh, deal as well yesterday but of course everybody snagged up on that and putting in their freezers but we're gonna have some steaks i'm probably gonna freeze some and be done with it so that is everything we got guys for our coronavirus two week stock up and this should hold us over i have a lot of stuff left from sam's club as most of y'all know if you watch my monthly sam's club video i'll link it up above but this is like our little filler tied in snack haul to get us through so we don't have to go out and about as much all right, y'all, so that is this week's Walmart grocery haul. Give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these weekly grocery hauls every single week here on my channel. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do all the things. Click all the things down below so you get notified every time I upload a video here. Y'all let me know what's going on in your area as far as grocery stores. Like, what is, like, the main things you're looking for? You can't find them anywhere. You've gone to store after store. You've waited day after day, and there's just nothing on the shelf. So y'all comment down below what what is the staples that your stores are out of? Don't tell me toilet paper, but everything else, let me know down below. Let me know if you are stocking up in your area or if you're just playing it week by week or if you're just going with what's in your freezer and doing like a little mini freezer challenge. Let the girl know everything down below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.